Jeans fit my jeans fit my jeans fit my jeans fit Hey! <laughs>
tops I wear like maybe like a 2x 3x I tend to gravitate toward like a 3x but um I feel like US companies tend to cut clothes a little smaller and UK companies tend to cut clothes a little bigger so this fits really well and you guys I stepped into this that's how you know because most body suits I just go ahead and unsnap it put it on and tuck it in child but this one I actually stepped into it comes all the way up and I still have a little bit room it fits really well all right so next up is this bodysuit right here I love the design of the bodysuit I feel like it's sitting on me kind of weird at the moment but okay let's start with the positives Love the color, love the design, love, it's like an off-white, I love the little, like, it has like the little boot part design, listen, the only thing I don't like about this type of design is that I have really big boobs, and for a shirt like this, like, your boobs have to go in the shirt, so I would have to, I don't know, I would probably have to, like, I think I'd have to boob tape them up so then the shirt sits up like this because I really like the fit of the bodysuit, you know, but the straps aren't supporting my boobs too much, you know, I guess, I don't know, I, I think this bodysuit is like a little style over function, but I would have to just boob tape the girls up and have them sitting here you know for everything to flow the way it's supposed to flow I really like the bodysuit though I think it's be really cute with like a pair of jeans or a pair of pants for like a cute little date night or a girls night out to go under a blazer or something like that but I don't know child tell me what y'all do when it comes to tops like this because I love tops like this but I know that for big boob girls like you see how small the cuffs are but for girls with big breasts it's like how do y'all manage this you know do you just boob take them up and i think that's what i'm gonna have to end up doing but i love this top all right babe so next up i'm actually really excited for this one this is this strapless like a tube top rib knit it's kind of like a chunky rib and a soft rib dress you guys i love this and it has like the line detail going across you guys it's a maxi dress too i feel like brands don't make good maxi dresses enough anymore like everything's midi and y'all know i love a good maxi dress especially like a cute sexy one for the summer this baby somebody to invite me to an all-white party like i'm obsessed with this dress honestly i saw it on brie martinez on tiktok and i was like i need that dress and i didn't think it was gonna fit me so like princess Polly, i know we all hear a us 20 that's it but when i hear a us 20 because i have a little bit of like experience with like UK companies, they're based in Australia. Um, I don't shy away from it because I know the cut is a little bigger. Like I feel like this dress fits me really nice. I don't even have on shapewear, but baby, once I put on some shapewear, baby's gonna snatch me up, and I'm gonna be, you know, like I freaking love this dress. Um, first of all, I love the material. It's so soft. The knit is so soft. The so I, I'm honestly when it comes to the sizing like I really did not think I was gonna finish this dress especially because if y'all can see here the kind of like striped detail I know it's white so it's kind of hard to see white but it has these like not stripes but this like yeah like line detailing through the dress and these are actual seams so I'm like oh lord I'm gonna bust these seams but I did it and the dress is double lined so you're not gonna get any panty slip up no see-through or anything like that I put my butt like what y'all think anyways you're not gonna get any like panty see-through situations none of that it's really nice I'm like should I wear this to the day party or is this like extra to wear to day party or should i save this for a date <laughs> all right babe, so we've gotten to like the jacket accessories part of the try on haul so while i have the dress on i want to show you guys the jackets this actually isn't a jacket it's more of like a overshirt and it's in this nice kind of like sea mossy not lime-ish but like muted kind of green it may show up a little brighter on camera just because of the light but I love this like you know I love something like this with like a little crop top jean moment accessories little sandals like things like this especially for summer that's like easy and breezy really like easy to make outfits with I feel like I could even wear it with this dress like you can tie it up let me see yeah I could tie it up with this dress if you didn't want to have your arms out. You can 
do one of these. I'm good for one of these, okay? I will wear it off the shoulder and rock it like this in a hot second. But this is really nice. It's kind of like a seersucker. Oh, look at me remembering what I learned in school. A little seersucker um, material. It's very light. This is cute, actually. I wouldn't mind wearing it like this. Or like if I start with the dress and then have the shirt on the side for like when it gets chilly, you know? All right, babe, so last but definitely not least, I'm having a hard time talking today, um, at least for clothes, honey, is this set right here. Now this is like my favorite, you guys. This is this two-piece rip knit set. It is sold together um, in cream. It's a square neck kind of top. I think it's, it's supposed to be a crop top, but it fits like full length on me with the matching white leg rib knit pants. It has pockets on the side. Honey, I love this outfit. I do have like a little bit of makeup on it because let me tell you what happened, okay? So I got the package and I wanted to take a picture in this outfit, but I was going to take the picture before I did the haul because that's just how it worked out. And um, I ended up also wearing this to celebrate my grandmother's birthday. Um, and I took my niece makeup shopping and I got makeup on it. It's just, okay, it's a whole thing. However, I'm obsessed with this outfit. I was comfortable in it all day. It fits so nice. Even my mom liked it. Mom was like, I really like that outfit on you. And when my mom likes an outfit, you better believe the outfit is popular, okay? I freaking love this. It's just so like comfortable. And it can go into like a loungy vibe, like if you want to wear it around the house, especially when you entertain, but you can also wear it out. I wore it out with flats, honey, sunglasses. It was very much giving. But like you could also like dress it up with heels and a coat because I was going to go out to dinner after I had heels in my car. I was like, okay, I can just put the heels on, but I ended up with the makeup, so it didn't happen. But like it just something about this just made me feel like really cute and girly and feminine i am obsessed with this outfit and in princess polly since you're watching this if you drop it in a black gray and a chocolate brown too i would love for y'all to do that and i would love to have <laughs> all right y'all so next up i have a couple accessories to show you guys this bag you guys how give it up for the bag this bag is so freaking cute y'all know i love a little mini bag and what does it look like yes it looks like a little kelly a little miniature kelly birkin bag um but it's in this green like deep kind of sea green um color and like this little crop it's so cute and it does come with a strap on the inside of the bag so you can wear it on your shoulder or you can wear it crossbody it has a little gold lock and gold details so freaking cute so up my alley and then next because i am a sunglass type of girl honey these glasses these are so my style ah y'all know i love a colored lens glass with a black rim i have some orange ones that are similar to these but these are yellow they're so cute it's just a cute way to like glam up and kind of give in any outfit especially for summer um i ended up wearing these with this outfit you guys will see in a picture on instagram go check my instagram and they're just so freaking cute i'm obsessed all right, y'all, so that's it for my Princess Polly haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed all the pieces that I tried on. I want to hear from you guys, though. What did you guys think? Have you tried Princess Polly before? Am I late um, to the goodness that it is? Don't forget, I will link everything that I tried on down below in the description box. I just suggest you guys go on, look at their size chart, and order according to size because things will fit better than what you think that they will, you know? Know? and i'm always looking for new plus size brands to give the girls some options you know what i mean so you guys again everything about princess polly where you can shop and all the outfits that i tried on will be linked in my description box so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this haul i love you all right babe so today's friday i hope that y'all enjoyed my little princess polly haul honey yes um <sighs> I'm just okay I'm gonna be honest with y'all I'm a little discombobulated right now like I'm just sitting in my car like what do I have to do today I just feel so weird I feel strange so I had to check my flow app baby yes I'm PMSing my flow comes in four days and I was just like honey what would you just hear but I'm blessed to have you <laughs> so um today 
I used to do a few things, okay? I used to get my car washed because my car is dirty and my windshield is really dirty. So I can't do my little like driving little clips like because the windshield is dirty. Don't nobody want to see that. Um, and then I need to go. I need to go to the mall because I got the, I don't know if you guys heard about the um, Good American X Zara drop. I got some jeans from it and I'm really hoping that they fit Lord but you know Zara don't do you no know, plus size honey Zara don't care nothing about the big girls so this is the first little thing that they've ever dropped that goes up to plus size and I'm assuming it's just because it was with Good American because Good American goes up to a size 32 um so we're gonna go see what that's about and people are saying in the vlogs honey people are saying like oh I think Zara's about to drop a curve collection a plus size collection okay I believe when I see it but what else am I going to honestly the only thing I can think about is going to the liquor store because I'm just so annoyed. Like, I don't drink all week. And I could I could really knock one back tonight. I really could. I've been working so hard. I've been consistent. Like, your girl deserves. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I have to do today. But right now, I need to get some coffee. Because I am so low. Like, my energy is so low. I need to, like pet myself up like i need to affirmation it up like you are that girl christine you're gonna have a good day today you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna drive safe you're gonna get these jeans they're gonna fit okay we're not gonna do this today we're not gonna pms get us we're gonna go to starbucks we're gonna get something with espresso in it so we can get some energy we're gonna have a good day <laughs> we're gonna have a good day <laughs> i'm so over it I'm bloated. I'm, but we're not gonna think about that right now. We're not gonna think about that right now. All right, y'all. I'm gonna get going to Starbucks, and I'm gonna try to make myself feel a little better because y'all know I do not like to bring low vibrations into these vlogs. Okay, so <sighs> give me a moment. Who knew I would be the one? Yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew. Talent is that they don't work as hard as I do, I do. Did you ever wonder? You knew you were the one that would hate. Might be going through on his own end. The demons that he's facing alone. Hate though sometimes I can't go home, man. It just ain't the same on the phone, no. Everybody's gotta go, don't they? So if you need a hero y'all so i'm finally at the mall honey oh god like i had to really pull myself together like i when i tell y'all i okay girl would you gonna just cross the street i mean oh i hate <laughs> not today not today devil because you trying i don't like pedestrians <sighs> okay pedestrians do have the right of way okay i'm not gonna argue or debate that they do however when you see me coming, go. <laughs> I'm so, I need to calm down. When you see me coming, why would you walk out to where you could get hit? 
Like, or if I'm driving and then they like walk out and they're so close to my car. Because if I side swipe you, that's on you. And I'm gonna keep going. I'm just kidding. Y'all know, oh my God. Do y'all know I've actually hit a guy before? Like, story time. I've actually, I don't know if I ever told you this, but I have actually hit a guy before and it was such an accident. Like there were no street lights where I was driving. It was when I was at school. Um, on my way to the dorms, no street lights. It was pouring rain and he like darted out and I hit him in my bug. Girl, gone. And <laughs> I hit him in my bug. I was freaking out. I had just got a fresh press. It was raining. I was outside in the rain. No umbrella. Fresh Ugg boots in the rain. But yes, he was okay. <laughs> he was fine. <laughs> he needed a couple stitches. And he broke my windshield. Like, what I tell y'all, I done been through some things <laughs> in life. I done been in some places. I done seen some things, honey. I called my dad. I was like, I'm going to jail. <laughs> I'm like, they're gonna take me to jail. <laughs> uh, your girl was really freaking out, child. But I'm just so discombobulated today. Like, I kind of got myself together. Y'all know I listened to my songs. I got my Duncan. But um, I just feel like I need to be, like, cradled. Like, oh, look at that bug. Oh, my God. Um, memories. Um, I just feel like I need to be cradled. Like... I just need to be babied today. That's it. Like, I just want to be cuddled. Like, someone babied me today. But instead, I have to be an adult, an independent adult. That's that. I'm about to call my mama. You guys, I'm in Sara and I met I got it, girl. Hey you guys. shout out. Come see us. We, we got you. Come get that good American. Right. Because they go up to plus size. Okay. And I'm like, I know you guys think that we don't have the range for you, but we really do. So please come and see us. At least for good American. Right. And it's like a fraction of the price that like, you would get it on good American. Like half off. Yeah. It literally like half off and shout out your photography your page everything so on instagram i'm ayana at ayana dickens photography so okay. yes i get you a good old photo shoot if you're like in la cerritos sunny mm -hmm. area <laughs> all right babe <sighs> i just got some all y'all i i ran in there it came out so fast like i let me tell y'all okay so going to zara like when I got in there, I have to be honest with y'all, I just felt weird energy. Like, I just felt like imposter syndrome. Like, I wasn't supposed to be there, you know? And, like, I just, I felt that so heavy. It was weird. It was so weird. And then one of the ladies, like, that I originally asked, like, oh, for my order, she was kind of rude. It was just weird. It was just weird. I'm already super bloated. PMS and not feeling my best. It was just a weird energy. Like, I'm gonna have to get over that, but it was a weird energy. Cause Zara, like, I don't know. Like, I don't think it was anyone, like, it, 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 it was me. It was me and my own insecurity. See, I have to be honest with y'all about, like, when I feel insecure, you know? But everything became better when I met Ayana. Like, girl, shout out to you. She was so sweet, y'all. She was literally the sweetest. Made the experience so much better for me. Like, we had a whole conversation about, like, plus sizes and Zara. Zara ain't bringing up plus sizes, show. They just have this collab with Good American. I did get my jeans, which I'm very excited for. And I'm very excited to try it on. And, yes, as she said, 
go shop the collection like everything is half the price of what it would be on good americans website also it is available up to like a 28 or 32 one of those and you know i think a really good way to get brands to like recognize us is literally like us buying out the plus sizes you know even if we really don't support zara like we can support good american because they are size inclusive and take advantage of the opportunity that these good american jeans are like half the price okay they're normally 150 like 155 and mine were i think it totaled up to like 79 dollars anyways she was just the sweetest you guys make sure you guys follow her photography page on instagram girl shout out to you she was like i didn't know if i was gonna come speak to you because you know some influencers don't like to be bothered i was like girl i am not nobody like if y'all see me out come speak to me honey because i want to talk to y'all i want to meet y'all i'm like girl what's your name we'll have a whole conversation like you know i did kind of look a hot mess today but that's fine like i mean <laughs> I be wanting to talk to y'all, you know, if you see me, come say hi. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I do be having RBF because I was just so uncomfortable in there. But I'm so glad that you came to speak to me, girl. You made my experience so much better. Shout out to you. I'm about to see if I could, like, do a customer survey or something because you were absolutely amazing i love y'all i really love y'all like y'all are so y'all be about to make me cry honey like y'all are just where's my phone oh my gosh okay here it is shout out my phone in the store about to die. um y'all are just absolutely amazing like even y'all support on my new series like i put it up today and it's just going crazy right now on youtube like it's my number one video right now y'all are so y'all just be really supporting your girl also i found Wetzel's pretzel it was on my way out child i was like yes because in my head i was like if i pass a Wetzel's pretzel one thing about me i'm gonna go because i love a soft pretzel so i'm gonna have my little Wetzel's pretzel hop on this freeway honey and go back home and get my life together all right y'all i'm back home child i had to rest up for a second i had to change my clothes i just wasn't feeling good like i don't know if it's just me like when you're bloated or when you're pmsing or just like any day does being in shapewear make you feel like heavier like does it make you feel like bigger like i to me i had on shapewear today and i don't know why i just had on leggings but it just made me feel bigger and i was like i need to take this off like it, it's just not doing anything for me right now it just make me it made me feel stuffed and just like really restricted i don't know i didn't like it but we free now <laughs> But, um, child, I have to sit down on the couch for a minute. I just watched Chelsea. Y'all know I watch Chelsea every week, honey. And she gave me a shout out, Chelsea. I love you if you're watching this. Mwah. I cannot wait. Honestly, I think I'm coming to Atlanta in August, I think. Me and, um, my friend, because they're having, like, this, like, plus size, like, event conference thing. And when she was like, girl, we need to go. And I was like, I wanna go. But I'm trying to like pull up on the girls, the girls in Atlanta, honey, and turn up. But all right, y'all. So about to open my Good American X Zara collab package. Okay, we're here for the box. We're here for the packaging. We love the packaging. I'm gonna let y'all know if this fits because, honey, if it's bomb, y'all better run, not walk. To your local Zara because my girl Ayana said that they do have some of the plus sizes in stock but I mean to be safe just order it online like if you're gonna go to the mall of course go look but like you can always order it online and do free pickup in store so cute okay the packaging is giving we have it wrapped good American collect Good American Collection Edition 2022 with Zara. Wait, honey, let me take my little aesthetic photo show. The life of a content creator, child. You just gotta, you gotta photograph everything. Okay. Cute. Let's take it from this angle. Cute, I think. 
Okay, let's open them, y'all. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I want these to fit so bad. And y'all know I love Good American, especially their like loungewear sets, their workout wear. Like, oh, all these jeans. Oh, they're so buttery. Look at them, guys. Oh, and I did size up. I got these in a 26 because I was just like, I'm nervous. It's like, I just feel like I need to size up. Okay, so I'm gonna do like, every time I get something and I'm about to try it on, I do like an eye test. Like, I can eye and know if it's gonna fit. So let's do a quick eye. Oh, did I just break my nail? Mm -mm, Cause my nail lady is booked tomorrow. Um, okay, eye test. These are the jeans. Don't be talking about how big my jeans are, okay? Um, <laughs> but these are my jeans. I think they're gonna fit. Honestly, they're big and they do, I wanna say these are no stretch. I don't feel like a lot of stretch in these, but, oh no, I got these in a 28. Oh, I size up, up. You know what, I would suggest sizing up, just to be very honest. Like in Good American, I love them, but I would size up a bit. Um, these are really good, very quality. It's giving, you know, the aesthetics of what it's supposed to give, the little cloth tag on the back. I just love little details like this. I really am a packaging type of girl. So I'm gonna try these on just real quick. I'm about to give you a whole thing. I have no shape for her right now. And that's the true test. Like, I like to try things on when I don't have no shape wear on. Cause if it fits when I don't have no shape wear on, then maybe we we good. Like, I should not have to faha myself up just to fit into your clothes. <laughs> like, it should fit. Cause if I want to wear a crop top or something and I don't want to wear shape wear, I should be able to feel like I can do that. So let's see what these give y'all they look so good they fit so good oh my gosh look at that thing thank it i love these i love the extra length on here for the tall girls okay i love the whole like wash the aesthetic of it these are supposed to have like tummy flattening magic in them i think they look so freaking good i love these jeans you guys uh, okay i put y'all up a little bit more so you can see the waist and how they fit around my waist now i have a short torso like a short to like regular torso so they fit so well like i don't really have any back gap or anything like that honey yes i love these i feel like i don't need a belt and ooh, oh, these are so cute i'm just yeah honey yes these fit amazing like i have a really hard time finding jeans that fit on my waist and i ordered these specifically because the description said that they're fitted to the waist and kind of a little looser fit everywhere else these fit freaking perfectly i ordered the best size in it like i just no complaints like i feel so good in these i'm gonna feel so confident going out in these i wish they had these in black and they don't but i'm about to go back on zara's website and see what else they have in the collection because i was so focused on these i'm just like my jeans fit 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 my jeans fit
All right, babes, I have my drink. I'm on my couch. I'm getting ready to figure out if I wanna order DoorDash because I found this $10 coupon in a package day that I was getting ready to throw. I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> About to order DoorDash. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I want. I kind of want Shakey's. I don't know, that popped up and I was like, ooh, Mojo's chicken, yum. Um, I also kind of want Chipotle. I should go with the healthier version. But as you can see, I didn't pull my drink. I'm about to turn on This Is Us and get my weekly cry in. Oh my gosh, if any of you guys are watching This Is Us, please talk to me about it in the comments. Like, you guys, me and my sister are so obsessed with this show. Like, it's, we were just talking about it. Like, no show is greater than this. Like, this and Parenthood, like, the best shows ever. But, I think the writer of This Is Us is also a writer of Parenthood. I'm about to look that up and see. However, I'm about to watch This Is Us. I'll probably be in tears at the end of this episode. Like, the episode about Miguel, if none of y'all, if y'all are going to binge watch it, you haven't watched it yet, slide passes but the episode about miguel had me in tears but my battery's about to die i'm just gonna order my dinner and i will see you guys tomorrow Mwah. good morning babe so today today is saturday child i'm laughing because i missed a pick y'all back up last night and tell y'all about this is us that freaking show y'all i don't want to okay i'm not gonna say anything because if some of y'all are binge watching it or haven't gotten to the end or where i am i'm not gonna ruin it for y'all but that show y'all chef's kiss it's just written beautifully like there is no other show like that show other than like parenthood if you guys have seen parenthood then you know but Today is Saturday morning and today I have a family event. We're actually celebrating my grandmother's birthday today. Um, if some of you guys didn't know, my grandmother passed away on New Year's Eve, December 31st, unexpectedly um, at 89. So today would have been her 90th birthday. So we are going to celebrate um, and just remember her today. So we're going to her gravesite and obviously I'm not going to take off to the gravesite. Like, obviously and then uh but we're having like a family lunch after and then later i'm gonna take my baby my niece my firstborn niece she's 14 y'all so i'm gonna take her makeup shopping for the first time because she wants a very light very light beat for her graduation she's graduating she's going into high school y'all i am old jesus I'm old and I know I'm only 26 heading into 27 but it's giving old <laughs> like absolutely not all my babies are growing up but anyways I want to show you guys today's OOTT I have on the set from Princess Polly you know the one I showed you guys in the try on haul I love this set y'all it's just like so cute I feel so put together but it's also like light enough for like a Saturday if the weather it's a little overcast today in LA but you know if it's chilly it's good if it heats up a little bit I'm still good I love it I feel like snatched in it you know I love the square neck the rib the pants are super long and flared I have on my Yeezys with this because I want it to be comfortable I thought it was cute. I'm also going to try to get a photo today and I have the concept for it in mind so like all of this kind of went with it but I just feel so like cute and feminine in this like this would be like a really good like little date night fit you know what I mean or going out with the girls for drinks but I'm going to accessorize with these yellow glasses. I feel like these look cute with it but for my picture I need like something you know so I feel like these yellow glasses kind of give it like a cute little you know kind of vibe I look cute I, I, okay I like mm, I kind of like my medium hair with this whole look the little square neck yum um and then I'm just gonna take my nano my speedy nano because it's brown and I feel like it matches. I think for my photo, you know what? I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's so I can get some flowers. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's because I want some tulips for the picture that I wanna take in this outfit. Like something like really just like cute and feminine. 
so yeah you guys that is the fit i'm getting ready to go because i'm very much about to be late and i don't want to be late so i will see y'all probably later this afternoon Mwah. have a beautiful well obviously it's not saturday when i'm gonna upload this but monday or if it is saturday when you're watching it i just have a beautiful day okay be that girl today be a bat get dressed go out do your hair be cute you guys look who it is <laughs> it's my good sis Hi. Introduce yourself. Oh, so my name is London. I've been <laughs> on the channel like two years ago. Oh yeah. Yeah, two years ago. It's my assistant, London. No, I'm just kidding. I was like twelve. She's my niece. This is my niece. When you hear me talk about, well, you guys have seen Jamie, but this is my older niece. This is my big grab. Anyways, <laughs> we just came from. Um, we just came from taking pictures. She's the one that takes all my photos on my Instagram. Y'all be thinking I be doing that myself. Absolutely not. I have trained her up, honey. So you got to get them while they're young. I have trained her up to be my personal photographer. So we just came from taking pictures. So I need to do a post for Princess Polly. Now we're going. We're going to Ulta because she's graduating, you guys. She's graduating from middle school, going into high school, and for her graduation look, honey, she's trying to surf and she want to do a little, a little slight beat. In one mile, she turn wanna, left onto C. Oh my God, let me tell why. Anyways, she want to do a little. Um, she want a little face beat, so she was going to do a very light makeup look but we're gonna buy her first little makeup products at Ulta I think we're just gonna get some blush yeah yeah blush what do you want done a uh, blush like highlighter bronzer maybe like contour no we're not doing no contour or if you know how to do eyeliner I don't know how to do eyeliner it's, just follow my eyeshadow I know, because I don't want to mess up. I don't know how to do eyeliner. I mean, you learn how to do eyeliner. I mean, I know how to do eyeliner. But I kind of don't like the eyeliner look, you know? I, I just feel like it's like, going to make you look older. No, like under eye. Oh, under eye. Yeah, because I, I just need, like, the pencil one I can, like... I don't know. I feel like eyeliner always... But you know what? Eyeliner was the very first makeup product that I ever wore. Because, like, it was the thing, though. Like, when we were in high school. And I know. You know like, so in the indie and, like, alternative culture. Well, she want a little eyeliner. You, what she not gonna do is get me in trouble. I'm not with her mom. You know what would be cute though? Not a black eyeliner, but like a color, Red light like brown. Head. I talk brown. No, like you know, cause okay, so London has gone through different like stages in her look and her style, and she has really great style. Like you know, and so. I don't know, she's going through like a quirky stage. No. Like an early 2000s type of vibe. Now the girls her age are like in a baggy stage. And I personally Gothic. love like the quirky kind of vibe. Like real girly cute. Like I think it would be so cute Turn left. if you had like some like pink eyeliner. And give like a full like blushy type of look you know what i mean like a cute little blushy vibe i don't know i don't Turn really left. i don't like pink yes she does guys. i don't like pink and green, green is my favorite miles. Color. Oh, Turn okay. right. green you could do a green yeah. eyeshadow that'd be so cute i don't know i mean i guess you could do black eyeliner like a brown something light because you're not gonna get me in trouble with your mom that's like what we're not gonna do yeah but all right y'all so we're about to go to ulta or a few minutes away so I will see y'all when we get there. We're gonna do your first makeup shopping. Oh my gosh. Tell them what it's like to have such a cool aunt. Uh, help. Girl, bye. <laughs> Tell them what it's like to have such a fabulous auntie. Like, what's that feel like for you? Um, she's cool. Yeah. I'm funny. I'm smart. What else? Beautiful. You're not smart. Smart. <laughs> no. Yes, I am smart. Why would you say that? It depends on the day. Girl, bye. Okay, she's had enough camera time. Bye. <laughs> Hey 
Y'all, let me say I'm embarrassing her because it smells so weird in this store. What? It's not rude. She said I'm being rude because I said that it smells in the store. But it smells weird in here. Am I tripping? No. Well, exactly. It smells weird in here. I can't say that. And I might tell them. Like, I feel like they need to know that it smells weird in the store. Well, I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to tell them. They're aware. Like, Dan knows this too. Okay. I think we should get a cute little cream blush. I like these myself. I use these. I, like I think that's dark for your skin. Yeah. You're light. <coughs> so maybe between here and here. This yeah. We could do a blush palette so you have options. You know, you can kind of test what you like on yourself. I thought they had a blush. Well, I know Elf has a blush. Oh, yes. right here. See where it says $9 blush palettes? Mm -hmm. Get the one on the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good for brown girls. Let me see. Yeah, this would be good. Cute little blush palette. I use this myself, so I know this is good. And then let's find you a... Those are liquid liners. Because, Get it, yeah, a pencil. Yo, look at my baby picking out her makeup. This is black, and then there's like charcoal and coffee. So I'm gonna do this one because it's waterproof and it's black. Okay. All right, y'all. So what we are leaving? Ooh. All right, y'all. So we're leaving Ulta, and Lenny doesn't want me to do this, but. I'm gonna do it because she thinks that I am embarrassing her, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> so today was the first time that I've been told that I could not film somewhere, baby. Ulta was not here for it. They were like, uh uh, you cannot film in the store. And it's so funny because the girl that came to tell me, she's like, I know you. And I'm like, from where? <laughs> I thought she was Gary Tell me she knows me from YouTube But she went to high school with me I was like oh girl How are you like what's going on honey But um She was like you can't film in the store I was just like It's so weird that you know This is the location where I can't film But I always film at Ulta Like those of y'all that watch my vlogs you know that I always film at Ulta. Like, I don't do crazy filming. I just do kind of like B-roll. But I don't get what this is. Do you stop here? Like, oh. you keep going because it's a blinking light. So okay. you keep going. You just have to check. Um, but y'all know I film at Ulta all the time. The one by my house. So I'll be honest. We're in the marina for those who all live in LA. You already know. And I love the marina. I'm always over here. But I don't know they weren't rude about it like I don't know I just felt weird like being told I couldn't film somewhere because it's like we're in the land of vloggers like certain places certain states like we're in California we're in LA like you know if this is what people do so I want to know because I have filmed this before with no problem the sales associates welcomed it so I want to know what it is about Ulta to where I cannot film Especially because I've done it before and especially because I've worked with brands that Ulta sells and have specifically had to do content in store for them. Do you know what I mean? So I just find it odd and it's like I always link Ulta like I always you know it, it was nothing negative but I just say it smelled in there. Maybe they heard me say that on the camera. But I was whispering. I was whispering. You are not. Okay. It smells so bad in here. I did not say that. Yes, that you loud. did. I was maybe I was I was not that loud. I was like, it smells in here. I said it just like that to you. You so extra. She just thinks I'm so embarrassing. Whatever. But it was just weird. But we got all her little makeup. You wanna show them what you got? Do yeah. your mini haul. Um, so first I got uh, this is, yeah. So I got like this bronzer. 
Uh -uh, come over with a YouTube makeup. <laughs> I got this bronzer. Um, it's like putty bronzer from Elf Golden Days. That's actually the bronzer I use. Uh -huh. And then I got a um, waterproof eyeliner. Period. Uh, also from Elf. And then. Honey, we have to start her off with uh, Elf. Okay, and I use Elf, so. And then. Um, like a concealer sponge, so like also from Elf. Everything I pretty much got from Elf. Um, and then a brow gel. And then this blush palette. Like a, like a glare. Um, I got this brush too from Elf. For like the blush, um, and then from Revolution, it's like um, makeup revolution. I think it's called makeup revolution. Is it makeup yeah. revolution blend? What is this? Oh, highlighter. So I got highlighter too, okay. and last I got some NYX. I'm gonna take advantage of the rest of this until he's time. Possibly, I think I'm gonna do a little trial on her tonight and just see how all the products work, you know? Um, so if something doesn't work, we can return them. Hey babes. <laughs> it's Sunday and I'm on the couch. I didn't go to church today, I didn't go to my parents' house. I had every intention of also going to this day party with the girls, but like I said, I've been PMSing. My flow is coming and my period flu is setting in. I don't know if any of you guys, sorry, I'm watching Reno now in the background, but I don't know if any of you guys experience period flu, but it just kind of feels like flu like symptoms. And I get it every time before my period comes and they just be having me down. Like my head hurts. It feels like a head cold, so I decided to stay home and not go to the party. And it ended up everyone like Sienna was coming. She has like a uh, food poisoning. Key was tired, um, so we just all decided to stay. And like you know when you have like intentions of going out, and then like it just like doesn't work out. I I just don't even force it because I just be like you know what God don't want me to go out for whatever reason that is. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna end the vlog off here and get some rest because I've just been I've been working, 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 and that's what my life has been. So that's why y'all haven't seen me like out out because I've just been so busy recently. Like, I've had a lot more, like, content to make and everything. And it's a great thing. You know, I love it. I love what I do. So, yeah, I've just been busy. But I love y'all so much. Like, y'all have been supporting your girl so much in my series and my vlogs. And my first, one of my first vlogs. Oops. One of my first vlogs. I'm going to drop my camera. Hit, like... 30,000 over 30,000 and my vlogs do well but like that one is my highest and y'all know like it's been a journey for me getting on this vlog um you know and I've just been really excited and I just can't wait to see where my channel goes and to bring y'all with me because y'all are my channel like I do this for you guys and I love you guys so much you're amazing so I hope you guys have a great week and actually next week's vlog is gonna be really fun I have a lot to do this week and we have girls night this week and everything so I love you guys I will see you this week three uploads baby okay consistency all year I love y'all